Welcome back to Wood Hacks. If you haven't figured it out, we're gonna be talking about spreadsheets. What? Yeah! Let's get hacking. Okay! What's up, everybody? I'm James with Mike Millam, and this is the first part in a mini series on spreadsheets. You know, I'm fairly certain that Mama Boucher once said, spreadsheets are the devil. I hear that's what some of our competitors say about spreadsheets and microvellum. Well, I'm here to tell you that not only is Mama wrong, but so are they. Spreadsheets are just misunderstood little helpful creatures, much like cobbler elves. And so I hope to dispel some of the myths against these little fellas and show you a trick or two along the way. To start, I just want to give everyone a little piece of encouragement. Anyone can learn spreadsheets and formulas. So don't be discouraged or turned away from wanting to learn them. You know, I've trained a lot of companies and one of the things that I would hear often when it came to train on spreadsheets was, uh, this is what they warned us about. What? Warned about? You mean to tell me that someone out there is saying, trust me, you don't want to learn spreadsheets. I never knew that learning a skill that stretches across nearly every office type job was frowned upon. If that's true, and you don't want to increase your skill base, then don't bother watching these next few episodes. I'd hate to teach you something that you can use for the rest of your life. But if you do see that learning this skill would be beneficial and you want to grab the bull by the horns, then stay put, I'm about to drop a knowledge bomb on you. It's no mystery that spreadsheets are vast and abundant throughout Microvellum. Spreadsheets are the veins and arteries of Microvellum and formulas are the blood pumping through them, giving the whole thing life. I will say, learning how to understand spreadsheets and formulas isn't necessary to use the software. But on the contrary to the arguments out there, you really don't need a degree in computer science to learn this stuff. But by learning them, you can take your microvellum experience to a whole nother level. Just ask any of the power users out there, and there are many of them, because this is learnable. And they'll tell you that learning as much as you can about spreadsheets is what will differentiate you from your competitors. And will make you a lifelong fan of Microvellum. So some of this may be pretty rudimentary, but I wanna make sure that I cover the basics. First thing everyone should know is how to access the spreadsheet. The quickest and easiest way is to click on the edit design data icon in your tool strip. You can also access it through the product viewer by right clicking on a product and selecting edit design data from the menu or you can access it from the product list, <coughs> Overdrive Pro, by selecting a product and then clicking on the parts list tab at the top of the product list. Now, once inside the edit design data interface, you're gonna notice a few things. One, the column names. When in edit design data, the column names are unique for each of the different worksheets. Two, tabs at the bottom. These are the different worksheets that make up this workbook. You can swap between the different worksheets by clicking on the different tabs. Three, red text versus black text. The different text colors are a visual reference for values that are hard-coded versus formulated. If the text is red, that means the value is being populated by a formula. Another important thing to understand is the difference between a cell reference and a defined name. Best way to explain this is to go to the prompts tab. If I select a cell in the first column, I can see in the top left corner, the cell reference, A1 in this instance. If I go to the cell in the second column, it's now displaying the defined name, width. Defined names are used for renaming cells to help make formulas easier to read and write. So instead of a formula saying equals B1 times B2 times B3, you could write equals width times height times depth. Much easier to read and write. 
A few other things you need to understand about the majority of the spreadsheets within Microvellum is that the data in each row is specific to that row. In other words, everything in row one is associated to the part in that row, whether it's a cut part, hardware part, or subassembly. The same principle applies to the prompts tab with the exception that the prompts tab has different sections. For instance, the columns from defined name to calculator index are associated to the defined name in that row, with the exception of the tab list and warning message columns. And then after that, you'll notice sections for metafile instructions, plan view instructions, elevation view instructions, cross view instructions, elevation section instructions, plan section instructions, virtual routing instructions, face frame drawing instructions, and activity tokens. Whew. There's a lot. Each type of instruction and the parameter columns are associated to the instruction and the row that it's on. All right, so there are some of the basics for getting started with the Microvellum spreadsheets. Now you should be able to access the spreadsheets and understand a little more about what you're seeing inside of them. In the next video, I'll cover some of the tools available when working in edit design data. So until then, stay sharp, stay focused, and stay awesome. Sorry, I got to pause here. I'm gonna open up toolbox. So my nephew, whenever he hears somebody beatboxing, he thinks they're saying boots and cats, boots and cats. Which I'm like, it's actually pretty good for uh, beginning beatboxing. Boots and cats, boots and cats, boots and cats. For me, I like books and I like hats. So books and hats, books and hats, books. Eh, whatever.